Sidechain compression can be a great tool for creating space in your mix. It can allow the important tracks to cut through and create a cleaner, more cohesive overall mix. Today, I'm gonna to simplify sidechain compression and show you exactly how I like to use it. I've got two different sessions I'm working on where I'm using sidechain compression, one in a more creative, extreme way, and one in a subtle way to help an element cut through the mix. Let's get started. The first session is a hip hop track, take a listen. The problem I need to solve in this session is that the kick isn't cutting through and it makes it sound kind of small and muddy. So this is a perfect time to use sidechain compression. Sidechain compression allows us to compress one track with the signal coming from a different track. So for example, we can compress this sample track every time the kick hits and therefore it's gonna sound like the sample track is getting out of the way of the kick. This will of course help the kick to cut through because it won't be competing with the sample track as much. x rack Pro has an incredible sidechain compressor built in. So to do this trick, I'm just going to load x -Rack Pro on the sample track and then select the side chain to come from the kick. This is how Logic Pro does side chaining and most DAWs are very similar, but you might need to check with your DAW to see how you can route into the side chain of a plugin. Because after you route into the side chain of x -Rack Pro with your DAW, you're ready to go. You can see the side chain compressor amount right here, which we can turn up. So you can hear how the sample is getting out of the way of the kick now. Whenever the kick hits, the sample compresses and that leaves room for that kick to cut through. You can really hear what it's doing when we solo the track. And while we're here, I may as well sweeten up this track a little bit with some multiband dynamics. great about x -Rack Pro is the sidechain is discrete from the main compressor, so we can use both at the same time. Listen to the impact of this x -Rack Pro on the kick. Even though it's not processing the kick at all, it's going to sound so much bigger and it's going to cut through a lot more when we have it on. So we're obviously using it as a more creative effect here. It's pretty extreme. Of course, we could pull this down and get a much more natural sound. That works really well here. Let me flip over to another track that I'm doing a similar trick on. This one is more of a synth pop track. So we can tell that this synth bass part is really cool, but it's not cutting through enough. So we need to figure out what track is getting in the way. So this pad track, when we mute it, all of a sudden the synth bass is super clear. So that means this might be what's getting in the way. Now we want that rich pad in there as much as we can because that's where we're getting a lot of the fullness of this track. We just want to move it out of the way a little bit whenever that synth bass is hitting. So we've got x -Rack Pro on this pad track. We'll set the sidechain up in our DAW to accept the synth bass track. And then let's dial in the sidechain amount. <music> So instantly we're getting that synth bass to cut through a lot more. You can see we're also sweetening up the pad with a little multiband dynamics and doing a little bit of filtering. Listen to how much more articulation we get out of the synth bass, even though this processing is being applied to the pad. So 
So that's the power of good side chaining. You can clear out space for another element to cut through. Experiment with it in your mix. When you use it tastefully, it can be exactly the right tool to clean up your mix and add clarity exactly where you need it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe for more tutorials like this, and as always, happy mixing. Yeah.